Hello everybody, today we're gonna prepare our patient that she was very nice and I agree to film this video to explain to the public how do we prepare the patient for a root canal. Let's say in a case of a patient with anxiety, um, our patient, just like me, we suffer from a dental anxiety. So when we sit, we're like shaking. So these patients have to be prepared really well. And everything said, Carrie, why do you need a root canal? What can you do to avoid the root canal? And what is gonna happen during the treatment? Some patients are gonna need to be sleep, like the patient and myself. Usually we will have to be sleeping for a root canal, but other people doesn't need it. So we tell them how to, we're gonna put an aesthetic, a rubber they're gonna have around the mouth, how much time they're gonna have the mouth open, what are the steps, what are they gonna expect about it, and how they're gonna take care of, of the tooth. So right now, I ask questions and I know that she has pain with cold, we have a pain history, the patient fill it out, and then she's telling me that doesn't hurt with biting, doesn't hurt for you, like you have some pain last week, but not with cold, and she grinds her teeth, but she's wearing a nigar. She's a Dr. Vijak patient too. So now we're gonna explain to her, she was having pain to cold, so now we explain to her with the x-ray that this tooth has, you know, inflammation here and here, and that's why she's having certain symptoms. Sometimes when she bites a little bit, but also when a patient is grinding, we have to be careful. In this case, the patient had an orthognathic surgery and the surgeons decided to put the screws here. And in the meantime, they went through my root that I did this, I said my root because I did this root canal in 2014. And the patient is wonderful. She takes care of her brushing, her, her uh, uh, grinding, her flossing at night, and her crown was done correctly. So she has some inflammation in this area because these screws that were placed here after surgery, but it still is okay. If in the future she has a problem, what we will do here is we're gonna cut this area, which is called apicoectomy, but it's cutting this area and removing the rest of the roots so they don't, this, this screws doesn't <clears throat> end up uh, messing up the treatment, but I have to see the CT scan because in the CT scan is going to tell me how close I am to the screw because I don't want to make it unstable. If this screw is part of supporting and the part of the tooth, which I think so, then I will not be able to remove the whole root, but I will be able to remove the majority of it and wash the area if it's infection or not. But in this case, the patient is ready. She knows we're going to open um, this tooth and we're gonna go through the crown. We go through the crown like it's in the screen right now. And what we're gonna do at the end is gonna be like this. You know, when the patient finish her root canal and in this case, we go and we see the tooth descended. The patient exit of this canal goes to the side so we were trying to go go further down because I like to leave it all the way to the tip, but in this case was going to the side and we have to finish the treatment there. Sometimes we take different angulations to confirm, but in this case, if she has a problem, we will check it again. But now we're gonna start the root canal. We're gonna put a topic anesthetic. After all the testing we did, we're gonna put topic anesthetic. Then we're gonna use an aesthetic that you're not gonna feel. We're gonna do breathing exercise. And after that, we place a rubber. If you want to know, I will tell you all the treatment. If not, and also gonna tell you after the root canal treatment, you may experience some pain. We're gonna have to take ibuprofen three times a day for three days. We will give you a prescription. The infection, if it's not gone, I don't like to finish, but I will give you antibiotics. Do you have any questions? Okay. Thank you, and we're gonna start now. Well, guys, my friends, have any questions, let us know. Send me a message for Instagram or TikTok or through the program YouTube, Dr. Fanny Yakaman. Thank you.